All right, here we are again, in Flux Caves, level 12. I've got my macro set up so I can both scroll down and it just jumps, which is nice for, uh, I mean, let's test it out. I haven't actually tested this out to see if it's useful. So if I climb up this while scrolling, might not be amazing, seems fine. But it is leaving some gaps, because I don't have like a free rolling, or whatever it's called, free scrolling scroll wheel or something. And then I also just have a keybind that just spams jump at like every 50 milliseconds or something. So I can just hold this down and I will be perfectly bunny hopping in if everything works out flawlessly, that is. So that's something at least. Where? Where is it? It's right there. Oh man. I feel like I want to like jump in somehow. Not just fall down next to it. Yeah, I don't. Is that even solid? I kind of felt both this time and last time last episode. I kind of felt like I was just going through it. So maybe that doesn't even have collision. But let's try coming from the other way, the other angle. One thing that is nice is that this is quiet. I, I'm like spamming the spacebar a lot and it's a little annoying when I'm editing to hear the spacebar all the time and I try to like mute it as best I can. So there it is. Can I jump across here? No, I definitely cannot. It's also going to be just more consistent. Though yeah, if this was a real speedrun, this would probably not be allowed. Really hope Fubinalvo actually adds in, like, key rebinding would be amazing, just so you could actually bind it to scroll wheel down if you wanted to. And just use that. What's this? Just more rock. Thought it looked a bit platformy. Yeah, maybe if I get up higher... Like this way? Nope. The invisible wall is here again. Okay, never mind. We have to go around that, I guess. Oh my god, yeah, that's... That's an annoying invisible wall. Wait. I was not even close. Okay, so that's not what I want to do. Sometimes I just can't quite make it up as easily. And I don't really know why. I thought it was because I was spamming it, like, wrong, but apparently that's not true, because I'm not spamming it anymore. Yeah, there's just no... no foothold there. This is probably my... my best shot, but it's not a very good shot. Yeah, I was trying to, like, get around that part. It's... it's almost like it's deliberate. Like, he deliberately made sure there were overhangs everywhere. I know that's not the case, because he clearly hasn't done that to every other level. But my god, this... this level design is exceedingly frustrating. Why couldn't things just be further down to the ground? Yeah, like, I just can't get up? I don't understand. There we go. I don't know what's what's up with that. Something like that is pretty hopeful. Like, if I can just not stick to the wall. I keep sticking to the wall. Yeah, it's very strange how sticky you are. I, I don't think it's possible. I'm losing hope. With his macro, let's try the other method once or twice on either side. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Man, this is frustrating. Or not frustrating, but demoralizing. I just feel like 
this one is such a natural, breakable level, but it just happens to be almost unbreakable because of how he made the level. And that's unfortunate. Okay, well, that doesn't count as an attempt. Alright, so right side. I... Why can't I... I know I got further than that before. No, this is really strange. It just doesn't work half the time. And I don't feel like I'm doing anything differently. It just doesn't send me up, and I don't know why. And there it works. That is so bizarre. What am I doing wrong? Ah, maybe I should just try the left side instead. This also looks pretty hopeless. I can't, like, jump over here. This is completely... Like, no footholds whatsoever. It's right there. Right in front of me. No. It's, it's just not possible. It is not possible with this method. I am sure there's some other method. Like, apparently, that's there. I feel like... Surely you must be able to get in here, somehow. But I don't... I don't know how, so, uh... Oh well, I give up for now. That's really... Really fucking upsets me, okay? God damn. I'm gonna be in a sour mood all episode because of this stupid level that I just can't break, and I know I should be able to. Ah... Hopefully, level 13 is more agreeable. Oh, this looks agreeable. This looks pretty promising. Like, just right here. Another one like that. It, I'm telling you, he's just copy-pasting levels and then, like... Yeah, it's it's exactly the same level. But just, you know, different objects strewn about and stuff. So I'm assuming if I just go out here... Yep. Then now we can do exactly the same as all of the other levels. Just get across here. Try and, like, get down this way. Ooh, thought I fell, actually. But yeah, it's exactly the same level geometry every time. But I guess I'm not complaining, that means that they're reliable. Ooh, close one. And there we go. Level 13. Very agreeable. But the question is if there's a better way. I'm just gonna have one more look. Just if there's something else, like this central pillar. No, I guess that was in the level before as well. Yeah. Also, it's probably easier to jump out here. Yeah, I think you can. You definitely can. So that's what you would want to do in the speedrun. But yeah, this part, I just can't get across. Even with the macro, it just doesn't find a ledge to, like, glue onto. No. There's just nothing there. What about here? If I can just, like, climb up? Damn, that actually kind of looks a bit promising, but... I don't think it's gonna happen. No. My head is covered too much. Damn. Yeah, that kind of seemed promising, if you were able to get up here, and then climb all the way there, and like, somehow rope around. But I don't think that's possible. Yeah, no, I think this one just has to use the, uh, the same old method of all the other ones, so... At least it's breakable, unlike level 12. Again, it probably is breakable. 
If you enjoy stuff like this and you try these out... Wait, where the fuck am I? Wait, 11? Excuse me? Why did I... Why am I back at 11? I didn't go into 11. That was 13, right? But it just sent me back to the door of 11? Yeah. That's this this level and then I go out and I'm at level 11. But yeah, if you have this game or if you want this game, if you watch this far and you don't care about the puzzles but you would like to break a game, I still haven't given anyone those copies, so uh, go back to episode 1. If you're watching at this point, you can still claim them for now. Yeah, no point going out here. And yeah, if you do, if you do get this game or have this game or play this game or whatever, and you also want to break things, please let me know if you find any other interesting skips that I was not successful in or any alternative means from the ones that I'm doing. I am very, very interested. Love all these, like, plastic 2D trees before they render. Alright, here's 14. Nice music, at least. Is it a copy-paste level, or is this one different? I think this one is different. I think a lot of the geometry is probably just copy-pasted, though. I'm sure it's, like, one of these stones is just a like a set object, and you just paste those and like reorient them a little bit every time. This looks promising. Maybe not. No? Okay, good, you can at least get up here. Let's get across this way. I did try to do this, right? Like, not jumping, just using the, uh, wow. Using the glue powers? That's actually amazing. Wait. Should I go back? Oh my god, I should not. I know I shouldn't. I know everyone is groaning right now, but I- I have to- Level 11. What the fuck is going on? Why am I getting to level 11 every time? Not sure what's happening, but thanks for the skip. Thanks for the teleport. I'll take it. I just want to try that now, like using the power of glue, instead of trying to jump off of the, uh... the wall, I just, like, walk down it. On both of these, both the left side here and the right side. So, let's try this one first. It's right there, just, like, wiggling my way down. I said down. Ah, that actually felt pretty, pretty close. And also, I, I keep trying to go here. Maybe I should keep trying to go, or maybe I should try to go to the very edge there, but I'm pretty sure that's like covered by rocks, but I just want to try that now. Isn't this the content you're here for? Doing the same thing over and over again? For no purpose whatsoever. It's what I do. Yeah, like more towards this side. Kind of hard to like go down. Oh my god, yes! Yes! Holy shit! Holy shit! I fucking did it!
Thank God! I did it! Level 12! Redemption! Finally! It's possible! I'm gonna test it again, not that method. I just wanna test if it's easier to just walk up here instead, on either side. If you just don't jump, and you just walk down the wall, do you stick better than the jump? I don't think so. I think, like... I think you only stick to a wall that you would be able to jump off of, so if you fall off a wall, you probably can't just stand there anyway. But, let's try it. Yeah, there I just fall. Because that's just like an edge that then goes into a steeper angle. But let's try the other side. Man, that's, that's nice. I finally did it. Despite all the frustration, it paid off in the end. Once again, is this actually a better method than just solving the level? I mean, obviously, if you can do it consistently and you can get this down, then yeah, it would definitely be faster than solving the level, but the question is, is it reasonable to do that? No. Same there, it's like I get off the ledge, the wall ledge I'm on, and then I can't do much beyond that. I just want to test that one more time with jumping. All right, left side. Get down here. Yeah, it's, this part is kind of the last part I can attach to. Yeah, no. I was thinking like up here, but it's too, too high. I can't get in, my head is too big. Yeah, okay, that's, that's not happening. But I did it! I fucking did it, and that's what matters. Also, am I playing on, like, normal sensitivity? I think I am. I've been playing on... Yeah, it's it's a little high. There we go. That's better. Oh, that's very laggy. Well, 12 is done, so 10 is possible. 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, all breakable. And yeah, it's very lucky that... He just copy-pasted so much, so most of these indoors cave levels you can just break, which also gives me hope for some of the earlier ones that might have been the same cave layout, and I just wasn't, like, I didn't know how to break them at that point. But I guess the problem isn't getting out of the, uh, the play area, the problem is, well, no, the problem isn't, like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. The problem is trying to, like, get somewhere that isn't in bounds. And that's what I couldn't do in the first few levels, so it might still not work, but we'll see. Alright, here's this level. The exit is right here. And yeah, it's, like, collision everywhere. Except for the lamps, they don't have collision. Yeah. Alright, nothing there. This looks pretty sloped. Yeah, I mean, that's something, but I don't think I can get up above there just using that, so that's probably a dead end. But what about here? Oh, is it this easy? No, it's not. Okay, that's probably a dead end too. Might be able to get out there. But let's try this one one more time. No, there's there's like nothing here. Okay, what about over here? Wait, I need to, like, get up this way? Oh, can I not? Damn. Maybe I can't. 
Uh oh. Is this another hopeless one? At least this one doesn't like tempt me. It doesn't have the hope dangling in front of me. It just seems kind of impossible right off the bat. There's like more land there. Oh no, that's okay. That's not land. What if I go down here? Maybe there's something I can do. No. Nope. This seems pretty hopeless at the moment. If only I could get up here. But all of this is, like, completely vertical. Yeah, and I tried jumping around this way and didn't really succeed. Nope! Okay, I don't think I can do anything in this level. That's too bad. Not the one I expected to not be able to do. Holy crap. It's it's kind of exhausting, but it is fun when I do break them. But yeah, it's it's a, a little samey, I suppose. But I'm gonna leave it off there, and then next time I'll try to tackle 1617 and well, yeah, I guess it's only 1617. We already know 18 is breakable, so. It's only those, but then after that, as I said, I do want to go back and check the ones that I wasn't able to break, just to see if my newfound powers can be put to use. Otherwise, I mean, I guess at this point it's like half the levels or something that you have to do, or maybe a third, which isn't too bad for a speedrun if you have to normally do a third of the levels and the rest you can break. Sounds pretty good to me, but... We'll see if I find any more. For now, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!